The wages of sin is death. You know, last week, about 1.30 in the morning, there was a man that died on this street. The news recorded him as being murdered. That's what the news reported. He died right here, somewhere in this area. We've been at this farmer's market for six years. Been here at this location about a year. Of all the times I preached about death, last Saturday morning there was a death right here. And another man was arrested for the murder. Imagine right here in my pulpit, a man died. I hope at the preaching, I hope at the gospel track, that he had put his faith and trust in Jesus. Because he may have gone from Mongolia Avenue to heaven through Jesus Christ. But if he rejected the preaching, he rejected Jesus Christ, he died on Mongolia Avenue and died and went to hell. Salvation. For all, for those that call upon the name of Jesus Christ. It struck my heart that a man was killed here because I, where is he? I don't even know who the man was. But did he hear the preaching? Did he believe on the Jesus that we preach? Or did he believe someone else's Jesus? Did he believe the truth? Or was he deceived? Is he in heaven today saying hallelujah for that preacher? Keep preaching. Or is he in hell today Preacher, keep preaching. I don't want them to come. Because there was a man that died on Mongolia Avenue last week. And he went off into eternity. And the Bible says that there is an afterlife. It's heaven through Jesus Christ. And it's hell by rejecting Jesus. We are all going to die. We don't know how. I don't expect that man would ever believe he would have been killed. There have been people who have been shot. They've been ran over by cars. They've been electrocuted. They drowned. These riptides. There are people that were sleeping in their living room down in Miami and their building collapsed. There are people who've been in their house and the ground ate up their house, a sinkhole. There are people who caught COVID-19. There are people who had a stroke, had a heart attack. When you are born of a woman, you will die. And when a woman conceives a child, that child in her womb will go to heaven through Jesus Christ or will go to hell by rejecting Jesus. Every child conceived will die. At some point in life, the wages of sin is death and you are conceived in Adam and Eve, the sinners. You are a sinner by the product of Adam and Eve. And you will die. And there is an afterlife. And that afterlife is heaven through Jesus Christ. And hell by rejecting Jesus. There is no other option. There is no other way but through the way of the cross 
and the blood of Jesus Christ. That he is the way, the truth, and the light. That there's no access to God the Father except through Jesus Christ. You cannot and you will not get to heaven without first believing on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Mary is not going to get you to heaven. The Mormons have no idea what heaven is. They don't even know people that were in America before they were. Jehovah Witnesses don't even have a Jesus that's God. That ain't nothing. And Allah, virgins, that's all you get. You know, a married woman will give you a headache. So you're going to live all your eternal life as a Muslim with a bunch of headaches. Really? You can do better than that. Or you can just do what the Bible says. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That's it. I am appalled that a man would, would be here in America, on the streets of America, and defend the Muslims. Oh, I know a couple good Muslims. They don't care for your soul. No one cares more than Jesus. Life and death is in the power of God. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. 